Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Marie and I am from Marie's Life Vlogs and Mysteries. Today our story comes from Tallahassee, Florida at Oakland Cemetery. This story is a mystery with a creepy ending. The mystery of Calvin C. Phillips. Calvin was born in 1832 and died November of 1919. He is buried in Oakland Cemetery in Tallahassee, Florida. It is said that Calvin designed buildings for the Paris World Fair in 1889, and he also designed several buildings for the 1892 World Fair in Chicago. People came from all over to see Calvin C. Phillips' house. He constructed off of South Macomb Street in Tallahassee, Florida. That was his home. People called his home the Clock Tower because he built a gigantic clock <laughs> on the side of his house. Um, his home was built of brick, stone, hand-carved woodwork, as well as a gigantic clock, mostly wood constructed and 12 chimes. Can you guys imagine how pretty that must have sounded? going off or maybe it drove the neighbors crazy <laughs> you know going off every hour oh I don't know anyways according to local legend the clock had stopped chiming soon after Philip's death in November of 1919 so his spirit went there and said I'm gone you don't need to ring no more maybe or maybe who knows maybe one of the neighbors disabled it Maybe they finally got to disable it. It's a mystery. We don't know the reason. We don't know anything about the story. Okay, so according to court records, <clears throat> Emma Kirk, it's Emma Phillips Kirk, traveled to Tallahassee after her father had passed away in December of 1919 from her home in New York to settle her father's affairs soon after Philip's death. The newspaper in New York printed a brief account of his life, noting that he is buried in a family vault and that on the date of his funeral, flags were flown at Half Staff in Tallahassee, Florida. I don't know. Maybe this was his daughter that had this road up because he was in the service or, or the military or something. Um, I did read somewhere that that she put some kind of medals um, in the in the vault with him, um, so she did get to go in there with him. So let's see. <clears throat> One odd thing was only his wife and two daughters are talked about in most of the articles that I've read. But I found a family history on Calvin C. Phillips at Find a Grave. Um, you guys know that you can go there and you can look anyone up from any grave or any date or however you want. I found Calvin C. Phillips on Find a Grave. He was born in 1832 in New York. His death was November 10th of 1919 according to Find a Grave. I believe his body was found on November 19th, 1919, but I'm not positive. He was either 86 or 87. And the reason I, we don't know is because we know he was born in 1832, but we don't have an exact birth date. So, um, he's buried in Tallahassee, Florida, Oakland Cemetery, Leon County, in Block 18 lot 12 grave number one his wife's name is melissa wood phillips she was born in 1834 to 1923 
Find a Grave says that he has three children. Anne Phillips Randall, 1859 to 1946. Now, John H. Phillips was born 1860 and died in 1951. He's the one that's not mentioned in any articles except for this Find a Grave that I found them. Um, it's, it's just kind of odd that he's not mentioned at all. The other daughter is Emma E. Phillips Kirk. She was born in 1866 to 1962. Calvin's parents were Daniel Phillips, 1782 to 1866, and his mother was Mary Phillips, 1794 to 1866. He had one sister, and her name was Mary M. Phillips. She was born 1840 and died 1863. Now, all that was found on Find a Grave. So I just some I just wonder why the son was not mentioned. Okay, so Phillips' family had never lived with him in Tallahassee. And he Rest in this mausoleum all alone. After 105 years, he's still alone. When he moved to Tallahassee in 1907, he moved there alone. It seemed as if he was separated from his family. As for Mr. Phillips' home, sometime in the early 1980s, people say that it just disappeared. It was there one day and gone the next. They say someone tore it down just for the bricks because there was many, many bricks on that clock tower. Um, I did read a couple articles, guys, that um, said that multiple people had lived in that house after Mr. Phillips. I guess it was rented out or maybe it was sold and then resold. So multiple people had lived in the house. The house just got in such disrepair. I do have a picture of it. It looks like it was abandoned, and it looks like trees were growing inside of it. So I did find a picture of it that like that. So, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying all the pictures, too. And I hope you're enjoying... Let me know if you're enjoying this type of video, because um, I'm trying to push my channel into a new direction. Okay, so back to my story... So now, guys, if we just back up a little bit, a little bit before Mr. Phillips died, the plot of land that the mausoleum was built on was purchased. You're never going to believe how much it was purchased for. $25 from the city in 1907. Soon after Phillips moved to Tallahassee, he bought that piece of land for $25. Isn't that crazy? I wish I could buy my cemetery plot for $25. Okay, so then he started building his own mausoleum to be buried in. One of the first graves, his, his mausoleum was one of the first graves in the cemetery. It was not the first, but it said it was one of the first. So one of, one of you know, I don't know, probably one of the first ten or something. Um, not positive exactly. In the months before his death, Phillips labored and worked his butt off to build his final resting place. And when he would get hot or he would get tired, he was also seen taking naps on a cot inside of the mausoleum. Many times while he was building this mausoleum, if it got too hot, he just laid down and rest. It was probably nice and cool inside there. Because, you know, it was all made out of brick and block, cement. It's also said that he built his own casket from local cherry wood. I bet that was beautiful. Okay, so then he instructed the undertaker, whose name is James, as to how he, as to how to position his body in the casket when he died. I read... 
somewhere. This is kind of weird, guys. It kind of gave me the creeps. It gave me cold chills and everything else. I read that he wanted to be sitting up. But I'm not sure if that's true. Because I also read that he wanted his casket sealed along with the mausoleum door. So I'm not sure which to believe. You guys figure out which one we're going to believe. You know, wonder why. Maybe, maybe there is record of him wanting to be sat up. Maybe he wanted to be sitting up looking at the door when his daughter came in to put his you know, pendants and prizes and, or not, you know what I'm talking about. She, she came in there and put some, he must have been in the service and she put some stuff in there with him. I don't know. It's kind of creepy and morbid and, and just like, oh, I don't know. Gives me the cold chills. Tell me what you guys think. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, I guess I could have kept reading and seen if I seen that anywhere else. I've seen that in one section. So, um, I don't know. I think he probably would have wanted it sealed. But if they seal the door, I guess they seal the door, they would have to unseal it if his family wanted to be buried in there with him. But nobody wanted to be buried in there. Okay, so let me get back to my story. So I'm not sure which one to believe. Anyways, the mausoleum was built to hold four caskets. So, Mr. Phillips must have thought his family was going to join him. Um, it's a mystery as to why his family didn't move to Florida with him, that his family stayed behind in New York. All of his family are buried in New York, except for him. So, that is one mystery that, you know, only Calvin knows why. I guess, I guess the wife and all of them know why, too, but... Calvin was a mysterious man. According to the town people, Calvin was very mysterious. He didn't want to make friends with anybody. He was there on a mission. He built his his house with his clock tower. Something about time. He was really enthused with time. Um, <clears throat> so, he wasn't there to make friends. The only one that he kind of made friends with was his... Um, his lawyer, Mr. Hodges, and he's the one that's buried close to him. So, okay, so where am I at? Back up. Okay, so he thought his family was going to join him. However, he's the only one buried inside after 105 years. That's like three grave spots that, that well, are paid for. I guess they were $25, but... But the mausoleum itself, you know, costs money to build, too. That are just sitting there empty. So, Mr. Phillips gave his lawyer, Mr. Hodges, a key to the tomb and asked him to contact his family, you know, when he passed away. So, Mr. Cal Calvin Phillips then went and laid on the cot inside of his mausoleum, and he died. He laid down and died. I'm surprised he didn't get in his coffin. But he laid there and he died. And um, someone spotted the door cracked open. And I believe that I, there was a couple of dates. Like I was thinking November 10th was his death date. But then I also see November 19th. But I believe that November 19th is when someone spotted the door cracked open. And called the police for help. And that is when they found Calvin's body. Unalive. In the mausoleum. Hodges, his lawyer, is buried less than 10 yards to the north of Phillips. It is believed that Phillips is holding on to a secret mystery of his life inside that tomb. And when Phillips died, people who seen him, probably seen him building his own mausoleum, people who seen him described him as a lean man with a long white beard below his waist. And people have reported seeing that same figure perched on top of the tomb 
after dark. Now, guys, you ready for the creepy story? Because it's going to get creepy, gruelly, and ugh. I just, thinking about it, it's giving me cold chills. So now it gets really creepy. So sometime in April of 2000, someone had broken into the mausoleum and they stole Calvin C. Phillips' skull and not sure what else that was missing. 24 years later, in 2024, this is still an unsolved mystery. I think they should open the case back up before it's too late and they will never know. You know, there's somebody out there knows who took the skull. You know, maybe that person's a grown adult now, you know, 24 years later. Maybe it was a kid. Maybe it was a teenager. Somebody knows who that person was. Um, it would be nice if they could, you know, open the case back up. Find the man's skull and put it back in there with him. It's crazy. I'm not a, exactly positive what else might have been stolen out of the tomb. Um, I know a couple articles said that possibly other body parts. But um, I know his skull was stolen. Wow. It's creepy. So nobody was really sure who Mr. Phillips was. And the day that Calvin C. Phillips died, he took all of his secrets to the grave with him. But I wonder, I wonder, is he really resting in peace right now? Without his skull, without possibly other body parts that are bones that whoever broke into took? Is he really resting in peace? It's a creepy story. Tell me, guys, what do you think? What do you think about this story? You, this is, can all be looked up. Look up his name and you will start finding stories about so many different stories about the situation with him. Um, about a lot of things that I'm already telling you. You'll look up and you will read and, and, and see that this is all public knowledge. Um, I want to give a big shout out to Thomas. Thomas actually went to this grave. He actually went to the cemetery and he spotted this grave. He did small video footage there. I don't believe he did any gadgets at the grave site because he wasn't sure about what it was all about at that at that moment when he was there. Um, he gave me some of his footage to use. Then I want to shout out to Terry because I kind of mentioned to Terry that um, I need... Let me, let me just read you what I sent to him. <laughs> oh my gosh. Terry was awesome. So, let's see here. Let me find what I said exactly. I won't read everything, but I'll, I will read some of what I sent to him. Um, and see what he says. Okay, where is it at? I'll just read to you the first thing I sent to him, if I can find it. Well, I'm really far behind. Here we go. Okay. All right, guys, so this is what I sent to Terry earlier um, while I'm working on this video. I said, hey, is there any chance that you can maybe find me some pictures for one of my videos? I'm trying to do the video. Oh, shoot, I just lost it. I'm trying to do a video now, and it's more or less a story. I need a picture of a couple. I need a picture of of a man lying on a cot in a mausoleum, a small single mausoleum, maybe some flags flying at half-staff, 
maybe a big pile of bricks, like a house was being knocked down, a bunch of bricks, a pile, and a pile, also a cherry wood casket, also a figure of an old man with long white beard down below his waist, cut out, a tomb mausoleum with the door cracked open and cracking open. It can be a video clip or it can be video clips. I need a skull. That's already cut out. If possible, thieves running away with the skull in their hand. I know this is a lot to ask for, and if you can't get it within the next couple of days, just let me know up front. Oh my gosh, this is what I sent to Terry. And, um, of course, you know, within a half hour, he's answering me, and he's already sending me crazy pictures and stuff like that and yay it's like shout out to terry that is so awesome i appreciate terry so much um but anyways let me know what you guys think of this story and let me know also what you think of um the way i'm doing this video because i want to try to do a few videos like this you know this one's going to have some pictures and stuff like that in it but if you if you don't want to watch the video, I want to make videos that you can you can watch or you can just listen to. Um, and I'm trying to figure out, you know, maybe throw a picture on there or like in this case, I'm going to have multiple, multiple pictures or I have ha did have multiple pictures. I haven't put it together yet. So I'm, I'm saying this stuff at the end of the video that I haven't even put together yet. Anyways. Let me know what you think of these videos, and if you want more videos like this, I'm I'm going to try to do a few of them and see how they turn out. Different stories, um, some true crimes, some unsolved, unsolved mystery stories, just things like that. So, all right, so that's my plan, and, um... I'm just going to see how they go, see how these videos, how these videos turn out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments. And, um, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Peace, guys.